Welcome to the Martin Minute Live. Hi everyone, I'm glad that you're here and hope you're excited for this brand new edition of A Martin Moment Live. Today we have a very special guest. He's an expert on artificial intelligence as well as a content creator in Snoop Dub TV. Let's have a quick word from our sponsors. Well-known content creator and researcher on the subject of basketball and artificial intelligence. The producer of the new video, How Does Artificial Intelligence Affect Your Grocery Shopping? Right now, we have our man, Snibdub TV, who is coming right now. Let's say hi, everybody. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure whether I was going to go and do a robot dance or not when I was going on stage because, you know, talking about artificial intelligence, yeah, so, well, you know. I reckon you should have done a bit of a robot dance because, hey, we're talking about artificial intelligence. I know that you've got those moves. So for those who are a bit unsure, would you be able to explain to us what is artificial intelligence and give us a bit of context to even just the whole sports world in general? Artificial intelligence can be defined and it's cited in the Journal of Physics in the little conference series that they did in 2020. It's classified as a technical science that expands human intelligence through expanding, extending and simulating tasks that typically a human would do except it's robots and machines. Now, when it comes to sports, this technology provides really useful insights and data that when produced is helpful for professional sports as well as improves the quality and interest of the product that is being produced by these sports teams. That is very interesting. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of basketball, especially when it comes to getting the family together and we go and watch those prime time games on the weekends, the big matchups. How is my viewing experience being impacted, as it seems, by artificial intelligence? To answer your question in the best way possible, a publication written in 2020 for Unite AI reported that the National Basketball Association has conducted research and trials throughout the last few seasons with technology that through the machine learning can produce automated game highlights of key moments throughout the game. In 2019, it was reported that this software produced over 13 million clips that could be used as highlights and posted on social media which is a very important method for, you know, reaching out to fans. Now, for basketball fans out there, there's been a lot of controversy and it's been reported on channels like ESPN and because of the shortened season that we recently had due to the pandemic and there was some play in the bubble, which it was in Orlando and that was a very neat bubble experience. I'm not going to lie about that one. In June this year, it was reported that NBA injuries were showing to increase at a higher rate this past season. You know, we had heaps of our star players out and it really did dip some of the fan ratings overall. So with this happening, how can artificial intelligence both now and into the future potentially impact on how we're being told that maybe an injury could occur or some injury prevention? How does artificial work in this space? Now, that's a very good question, and I know that you're a very smart man, mate. Of, now, of course, injuries are always going to be a part of any sport that you play, no matter what. Now, I think we can particularly focus now on, like, you know, fatigue-related injuries, conditioning-related injuries. And there are a couple things that artificial intelligence can do to help look after and manage the bodies of these athletes. Now, something I found really interesting throughout my study and something that's really intriguing was looking at how shooting the ball and being really effective at it reduces the chance of fatigue and collision-related injuries as it requires less physical effort as opposed to more athletic basketball moves. This is like layups and other driving actions that, you know, NBA players go to the basket according to the frontiers of neurobotics in the 2021 journal article. As basketball continues to expand on a global level and we have future generations of players training and getting ready to enter the big leagues like the NBA in Australia, we've got the NBL, um, England, heaps of countries like that. And how artificial intelligence may impact the selection of Pacific candidates. But also speak to some of the weaknesses and 
how you know moving to more of an AI system may impact other sports, for an example. And yeah, give me some insight on those weaknesses for me. It's a very loaded question right there, but to best unpack this question, let's firstly look at the process of the NBA draft where NBA potential prospects attend workouts and events like the basketball draft combine. Now, according to Inside Science's 2018 magazine article, typically NBA teams would look to access a player's true ability based on the amount of shots taken throughout these workouts. However, with artificial intelligence, a player who you know might not shoot as often with the basketball how they get their data for you know how good their shoot is and stuff is actually through AI and what they do they actually like you know track the shooting motion and they kind of have a bit of like a predictability system and stuff like that. This data can be captured through cameras and which is kind of placed on the top of like the backboard where the shot clock is located. With the downside of this there'll always be players who slip through the cracks and in this data that AI has collected may not always indicate the actual impact and potential of those basketball players. Furthermore, another weakness of artificial intelligence in the sport of basketball with this idea of surveillance. Now, you can argue that you know NBA players in you know signing the contract and making the big money that they do, that you know a part of it is being surveillanced, and you know so then teams can go and use that data. But let's kind of focus on the youth basketball aspect, as these players aren't necessarily adults yet. You know, many parents encourage children to participate in these sporting events as you know, you learn a lot of interpersonal skills and this technology could interfere with the natural development of these players. And when you kind of think of youth basketball, it's a really good foundation base for players and you know, human beings as us in general to develop leadership and develop interpersonal skills. Yet alone, artificial intelligence for sporting use is really expensive and it's a very big expense for NBA teams. Traditionally, data and statistic trackers for basketball games with this technology can lead to a bunch of job cuts. Well, that was very insightful, Snoop Dub TV. Well, I appreciate you letting me on the show, and I reckon, you know, with a couple of little texts, I reckon you can sneak me back on again. My pleasure. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to A Martin Moment Live. Thanks for you all for tuning in today. Really appreciate it, and I can't wait for the next episode. Nevertheless, let's fake Snoop Dub TV. See you guys.